Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at the first episode of March Comes In Like a Lion. Now, I don't have any idea what this was originally about. I, I actually went into this just knowing that my friends earlier watched it and told me it was actually really good. And so I, I then remember way back when we were doing the Otaku 18, we were talking about the uh, stuff that was coming out in the fall season of 2016. And I remember that this was the thing about Shogi. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I remember that concept about it, but I didn't realize what anything else was about it. And I'll tell you right now, this is this is really piqued my interest. I mean, the first episode was something very interesting. Uh, it had some very artistic cues to it. It reminded me a lot of art style was. It reminded me of art style uh, similar to Eden in the East. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Uh, but overall, I really dug this. I thought it was really cool and, and very, um, I, I want to say mysterious. So, I mean, even the first image alone, I, I took that image from the um, the opening. I really think in many ways it kind of good. It's a good representation of our main character because he's almost a silhouette. And, and I know that's kind of hard to explain and maybe you don't fully understand that. But I'll explain it as I go on with this. So the first thing we learn, and, and as I review this, of course, is we see our main character, Ray, who apparently comes from a very busted family. Um, his family, you know, they're not fully explained yet of why he comes from such a busted family. But we see glimpses and little things and tidbits of information saying that he doesn't have a ham family, he doesn't have a home. He really is kind of like a drifter of, of sorts. And we see when he wakes up. It kind of looks like that. I mean, he looks like he's in an apartment with minimalistic anything. He's, I don't see a couch. I don't see anything like a TV. He just has this little tiny mat. It's, I don't even know if that is a mat. And some blanket. And then he has some bottles of water that he took. And, and overall, what's very interesting is for the first, like, six minutes of this, we hear very little talking. Um, you know, after the first, after the opening sequence, we hear, like, no talking until he gets to this shogi match and someone finally opens up and says, asks him how he's been. Now, I want to presume, this is being presumptuous here, but I want to presume this is a family member that knows him and that is challenging him in Shogi on just to kind of just to see how he's been doing. And as we see, this is the place that he goes to is a, is a Shogi tournament hall where they hold like little small bouts here and there. There's a few official rulers there that watch over the games and stuff like that. And, you know, what's funny is though is this guy is talking this whole time and our main character stays quiet. To the end, you know, he's telling tell him, oh, you know, they miss you, they're worried about you. So I'm presuming he's talking about the family, maybe, or something like that. But overall, he's quiet. He says one line after maybe, I think, literally seven minutes of him not talking. He finally says, you're lying, you know, after he already left and he won the match, uh, which is pretty interesting. I mean, I find that interesting. Now, he gets a message from, uh, I presume, another family. And we then learn that he does have another family, it looks like, this, someone that actually welcomes him home and takes care of him and you know it seems like during this this moment he's so awkward during these moments but he seems like he's at his happiness a uh, happy happiest not happiness that's weird but he really does seem like he's happy and it looks like this family really does care for him and as he's listening to the radio or excuse me the tv i said radio yes he's listening to the tv he starts hearing about someone getting uh brutally assaulted by a son like so a father got assaulted by a son and it looks like it starts triggering something within him so i'm figuring that something must have happened with his own family that caused something and you know i have an idea that maybe he caused an issue or maybe he got into a fight with his family but it's very artistic this this image in the scene i think it was really interesting and when he falls asleep and and one of the girls from the family takes off his glasses she sees that he's crying as he's sleeping so i mean it, you could feel for this character now, you know, at school, after having gotten a giant rice ball from one of his, I want to say, quote-unquote, sisters, probably like a half-sister or maybe adopted sister, whatever, you know, um, he has this giant rice ball. The teacher is sitting with him, talking about how he has no money to really eat food and all that, and he's wondering why he has a giant rice ball. But we see that Ray is very quiet. He doesn't talk very much. He's very socially, I think, awkward. And, you know, it seems like even at school, he has no friends for the most part. He, he went there just because he just felt like going. So that's interesting. I want to see why he's like that. And we also see that he does have his, his segregate family has a kind of, I want to say shop. It looks like a bakery of some sort. And he goes there and he takes care of them over there, helps, him out, helps out a little bit here and there. And as he goes back home for the first time, what we presume is his real home, he tries, he's trying to look for a, a, what looks like a letter, and he doesn't see it, but then someone around the corner takes out what looks like a um, match request form, so I'm presuming for, for Shogi, and showing it to him, and I, I'm presuming that he stole it from him or something like that, but that's how the episode ends, it goes to be continued from there. Now, two things I find very interesting, by the way, too, also side notes, is that the episode one is titled Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. So I wonder if they, they infused 
different chapters in this and then we just i didn't notice it but that's pretty cool i, I mean it did a really well job where it didn't feel like it was being rushed um and the second thing i noticed is also that our main character is very stoic i mean usually a main character talks a little bit you know or has some type of you know their own mind or, or narration ray had very little narration he talks a little bit about himself here and there but overall is very very quiet i found that interesting this show has really piqued my interest i really definitely want to check out the second episode i probably will review the second episode um you know because i think this is worth doing on saturdays i also am going to tell you guys and girls that if you were following my blood divers reviews i'm probably not going to do any more reviews on that i didn't think it did that great but even more so i, I wasn't too much of a fan of it and the second episode doesn't look that good from what i saw and a lot of people are telling me to stay away from it so i will watch it i just probably will not review it most likely anyways guys and girls i will talk to you later because i have to go do a zeta review but i will see you all later Bye bye